Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at optimizing your character creator characters for export into the Unity 3D game engine. Okay, so we're going to talk about different ways you can optimize your character, including the mesh and the materials, and of course converting to a game base. So on the screen right now we just have a typical uh, Assassin's character. Okay, you can see with the typical outfit right here. And uh, from our uh, Assassin's playset, you can download that from the content store. And you can see here we have a high uh, resolution uh, 4K facial texture on our character. Okay, so what, the thing we're gonna do first is we're going to go over here to our attributes tab. And what we're gonna do later is convert to game base. Okay, so this is the main uh, tool that you are gonna use to optimize it for in-game usage. Okay, so let's, let's first take a look at our character's materials, okay? So if we convert to game base, we have the option to select single material. So we have the option to bake all the textures into a single material, and we can choose the max texture size. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. And we also have the option for multi-material, okay? And the info here, all textures will be baked upon conversion to a game base characters and morph sliders will no longer work on this mesh, okay? So keep that in mind and this cannot be undone. So save your backup before proceeding, okay? Let's go ahead first and take a look at the materials tab over here and take a look at our characters, for example, the skin on the character's head. So notice these, all these different uh, meshes right here, the CC base body meshes, these are all the ones that are gonna be baked together. If we choose to bake into to a single texture, it's gonna bake all these into one single texture, okay? Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, skin head, for example. You can see it has the uh, head texture map right there, okay? Uh, the body one, uh, separate one for the torso, separate one for the arms and nails and eyelashes and uh, so on and so forth, okay? Now, in addition to that, uh, we can see we have a couple different bases for the eyes, so the uh, Standard eye R, standard cornea, uh, left eye, left cornea, okay, and upper and lower teeth. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we also have, uh, if we go over here to our content manager, we're going to go to our uh, base tab and into the eyes. There's also a game eyes that you want that you want to use when you bring your character into the Unity game engine, okay? So make sure you use one of these. You can choose multi-UV or single UV. I'm just going to choose single UV in this case. Okay, and you can modify the colors in this if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it the way it is. And you can see now, if we go to our materials over here, it's called GA underscore I, and the mesh name is CC Game I. Okay, so uh, very different. You can see it down here as well. Okay, and we're gonna also do the same thing for the teeth. So if we go to the teeth section here, you can see at the very bottom in the teeth folder, we have this game teeth, single UV. I'm just gonna go ahead and double click that, and it's going to replace the teeth with the game optimized teeth. You can see right here, GA teeth. And we'll go to our, uh, select our character. So we can see all the materials and you'll see the game uh, teeth right here. Now, if for any reason you want to open your character's mail to take a look at the game teeth, you can do so by making sure they're selected, going over here to the attributes tab and just opening the mouth by pressing this button right here, okay? You can open it, and you can see that the gums might be a little bit high in this case. So what you, want, what you may wanna do is go to edit mesh and select elements here. And I'm gonna select the lower teeth right here, press the W hotkey and move them down just like this, okay? And we can do the same thing with the upper teeth like that. And if we uh, do that, you can see we'll get a more uh, more desirable result. Okay, now keep in mind that these, uh, uh, these game teeth are actually super, super simple UV, okay? So you can see how, how simple they are, basically the, as simple as possible. All right, so keep that in mind. Just wanted to show you the teeth uh, and how they look once the character's mouth is open and how to open the character's mouth. You can go out of edit mesh mode here and just uh, close your uh, character's mouth here again by pressing that button, all right? And we're good to go. Okay, so that's all taken care of. What we're gonna do next is go up here to the uh, attributes again and convert to game base. But before we do all that, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and export this uh, character the way it is. We're gonna export an original version of this character. So what you want to do is go up to File and Export and Export FBX, okay? And you want to make sure you choose the Unity 3D Target Tool preset for sure. And you don't want to embed the textures, okay? You do want to include some motions if you want motions for your character in Unity. Uh, just keep a frame rate of 60 and you want to load in a custom T-Pose. Make sure this is, the number, this is the first item in the list. If it's not, you can move it up and down like this. And then we have a couple other uh, motions that I'm going to import in as well. And we also want to make sure we delete the hidden mesh, okay? And we can go to export. And it's gonna say, you know, you, you can't import this back in due to changes in the UV and everything like that. Uh, go ahead and press okay. 
Now I've already exported this into this uh, original folder or original warrior folder. Okay. So when you export into Unity 3D in particular, what I recommend doing is creating a folder. So you can say I have an optimized warrior and an original warrior. So this is the original warrior right here. Okay. No, no changes have been made to it. No optimization for the texture or anything like that. Um, I also have one called optimized warrior and inside that contains the FBX file, the textures folder and the optimized warrior.fbm. And this is uh, essential when you import it into Unity 3D because this is the way the Unity 3D uh, package script is going to uh, set up your prefab in Unity. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that for now. We don't need to export at this time. Let's take a look at what happens if we convert to game base now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select convert to game base. I'm going to choose a single material and uh, pay attention right here, especially at the top. We have a uh, selected triangles of 132,000. Okay, so that's our, our character's uh, um, poly count right now. Okay, 132,496 uh, basically. Uh, we're going to optimize the single material. We're going to choose a max texture size of 1024 and go ahead and convert that. And that's going to basically just convert everything. Uh, the textures is going to merge them into a single map. And I'll show you the difference in the textures in just a moment here. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that the uh, skin is a lot smoother, a lot less detailed here. But uh, of course, if it's just an NPC character you have in the background, you don't need to have a real close up on the face. And uh, this should generally do uh, fairly, fairly well, should be okay. Uh, so let's go over here to the materials tab and you can see now the materials have indeed been quite optimized okay so now we have one single material for the entire body it's called uh right here so ga skin body and you can see the head the arms and the legs and everything like that they're all on the same base color map okay and everything's basically been baked into a single uh texture map and that's going to be very useful when we import it into unity uh, because it uh, is going to be very optimized now, when you choose, when you select, uh, when you convert to a game base, it's also going to significantly reduce the mesh on your character. Okay, so the poly count, you can see here 36,080. Okay, so significantly reduced. And if we go over to our scene manager right here, we can just choose the uh, CC base. Now, this is only going to affect the skin. Okay, so the body mesh. Uh, keep in mind, it's not affecting the clothing yet. We'll talk about the clothing in just a moment. Uh, you can see wireframe unshaded here. Um, very optimized uh, character uh, facial mesh and body mesh. So if we were to load this project up again here, the base project, and while we're waiting for that, let's take a look at this image right here. You can see that basically we've taken all those uh, seven uh, texture texture maps and put them into one single game body texture map. Okay, and the poly count has been significantly reduced. So here's the uh, the original character. Let's take a look at the shading on this one. So let's go over here to our uh, wireframe unshaded. And you can see obviously a lot more detailed than the uh, game base that we converted. So let's go back to a uh, normal shading mode here. And let's take a look now at the clothing. So with the clothing, what you can do is go to your Insta LOD tool here. Now this is, requires the uh, pipeline version of Character Creator 3. So keep that in mind. If you don't have the pipeline version, you won't have this Insta LOD option. And you can choose polygon reduction for wearables, okay? So you can see the poly count on the wearables right now. Just take a look at uh, all these uh, wearables. We can select whatever item we want. The, the jerkin, uh, the uh, cloak here. They all have different selected triangle counts up in the info there. Uh, we're going to reduce the percentage by 50% and bake all the textures into a single texture again here. And we're going to choose 1024. And uh, I've already done this thankfully. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. But those are the settings that we've used. And I'm going to load in that project here. Okay, so this is the character that has been fully optimized for the uh, facial texture. So you can see if we go to the materials, we have the uh, game skin uh, game skin body right there with the, all the textures baked, like I mentioned uh, before. We have uh, the uh, cloak and everything like that. All these things, all of these items have been optimized. You can see the cloak is down to uh, 1899 here. And if we go to uh, our uh, wireframe, you can see very, very basic uh, uh, wireframe on our character's face. So definitely optimize for game usage. And again, uh, make sure that you have the uh, game teeth loaded in here, as well as the uh, game eyes at the very bottom here, uh, single UV. And then get ready for export. Just go up to File, Export, and FBX. And of course, Unity 3D Preset. Okay, do not embed the textures. Make sure you include all the motions you want with a T-Pose at number one. Delete the hidden mesh and export. Okay. And thankfully, I've already exported this, so we don't have to wait for anything like that. So I'm going to go actually into, uh, so I'm actually going to go into uh, Unity right now. And you can see in Unity, we just have an empty scene here. 
and we just have our typical scenes folder that's uh, standard with a default scene. Now, the first thing that I want to do, like I showed in part one of this tutorial, is import in that script package. Okay, so I'm going to right click in my uh, assets folder here and just go to import package, custom package, and make sure that we have that. Uh, again, this is available for download in the description of this video. Choose all files right here. It'll be this one right here. Once you double click it, it's going to ask to import all this stuff. Just go ahead and select import. And it'll take a second to compile the scripts. And again, it's going to create that CC assets folder. So this is where you're going to um, click and drag or import in all of your uh, uh, FBX files that are already in the folders. And I'll show you that in a moment. And the scenes folder and the editor right here. Okay, so it's that character clear editor. We talk more about that in part one. This one here is just the, uh, the shader that I mentioned uh, in part one of this tutorial as well. You can go to double-sided, just type in double-sided in Unity Asset Store. You'll find this double-sided shader from Sasonia, Kikonia Studios, whatever. And uh, I recommend getting that uh, to, uh, as a simple solution for double-sided issues um, on your character's materials. So the next item of business here is to import in the FBX folders, uh, the folders that contain the FBX files into our CC Assets folder. Now we can't right click and import the new asset this way. We have to actually just click and drag the whole folder into the CC Assets folder. So let's go ahead and open up an explore window here. And I'm going to go to the folder that contains all the goodies, tutorial files here. So what we can do is just uh, click and drag uh, the optimized warrior. We're gonna click and drag that in to our CC Assets folder. It's gonna uh, import in this folder right here, optimized warrior folder, which contains our uh, character file right here contains the animation controller. You can just double click on the animation controller. So the awesome thing about the script that's included that, and that you can download in the description of this video is that it basically sets up everything from the textures of your character. It also sets up an animation controller. So the animation controller basically just takes all those motions that you exported with the FBX file and assigns them into this animation controller that's already preset. In addition to that, it'll automatically also set up LOD, which we'll talk about in the next tutorial. And we can connect, you know, the character three animation to the NPC talk animation. We'll see those in a moment. So I'll just right click, make transition, click over there, right click on the NPC talk, make transition back to character three. And then we'll go into prefabs. And in prefabs, we can just click and drag our optimized game character in there. Go back to the scene tab. I press the F key to focus on him a little bit. And there's our, there's our boy right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the character uh, up close. So this is the optimized character. So you see the skin texture, not as detailed as what we saw in iClone, but when I import in the original, we'll, go, we'll be able to see the difference, okay? Now again, we wanna fix the shaders on this really quickly. So let's just select our character's uh, hood. Go over here to our shaders and go to the Sasonia Studio shader, double-sided, standard, and diffuse bump. Okay, fix that issue right there. Select the cloak and do the same thing. Go to uh, stand, or, uh, Sony Studio, rather, double-sided, standard, and diffuse bump. And there we go, our cloak's all uh, fixed up. So let's go ahead and give this a playback really quick and take a look at our character. We can just go back to our uh, scene here, see if you see him from the front. You can see, there he is right there. Okay, so that's the animation. And you can see the uh, details on his face really nicely right there. Okay, we can move out, move in, and get a better look at our character's uh, face. And here's the uh, talking animation. So again, he contains all the facial morphs, all right? So you can see the uh, facial morphs and everything like that. Even though it's a game base, it still contains all of the facial morphs. So your character is able to talk like this. And if we go back into uh, Character Creator, we can take a look at our character, go to the uh, animation tab here, edit facial poses. You can just choose a number of different expressions. You can see different facial morphs, happy, just use like disgust or other ones like that, you can modify them separately, just like this, okay? So facial morphs can all be combined and, and modified separately and so on and so forth, okay? Just wanted to make sure you know that we have that capability. So let's go ahead then and import in the original version back in Unity here. So uh, same thing, we're gonna go into this uh, folder right here. We're gonna click and drag our original fo our warrior folder now into Unity. And, whoops, we need to go back into the, make sure we're in the CC Assets folder, very important. Make sure you're in this folder when you import. Okay, and just click and drag our original warrior folder in. Okay, so that'll be imported in as original warrior in this folder right here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the folder structure. You can see, you can see original warrior. I have the FBX file right here again, the textures folder, and the .fbm folder that will be included as soon as you export your character. 
from Character Creator 3. And in Unity, the original uh, Warrior folder, we need to go ahead and do the same thing with the uh, uh, animation controller here. So let's just right click, make transition, make a couple of transitions uh, back and forth there and import in our prefab. So let's go ahead and uh, click and drag that in. And we're going to go back, need to go ahead and press the W hotkey and move them a little bit to the side. Okay, so this is the original warrior here on the uh, on the left, on our left. Okay, now let's go ahead and take the camera and bring our camera up here actually a little bit as well. So let's just uh, bring the camera up like this and rotate it 180 degrees. Press the E hotkey and uh, let's just do 180 up here. And the rotation value. Okay, and we'll just uh, kind of have our camera focus on the uh, character's faces more. There we go. Nothing too close. And of course, with the original warrior, we need to do the same thing with the uh, cloak. So let's uh, twirl that down, select the cloak, shader, double sided, standard, blah, 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 and the hood, same thing. Okay. Um, Thank you, Sasonia Studios, for this uh, shader here. And let's just go ahead and give that a playback. All right, so there's our characters. Let's take a, a closer look at them in our in our scene view here. If we uh, get a little bit of a closer look on the original guy, you'll see that his skin uh, facial textures are very detailed, okay? And when he starts talking, we'll get a little bit of a closer look at his uh, face there. So you can see that uh, very nice uh, facial details on the materials. Okay, there we go. And if we uh, pan over to our uh, optimized character, not much of a difference. Okay, um, obviously uh, uh, close closer inspection, the skin materials are a little bit different, not as uh, um, detailed uh, with the bump maps and everything like that as the original. But you can see still very close, and both characters. If we take a look at the, uh, if we go to the game mode here, and we take a look at the uh, original warrior, if we take the original warrior out of the scene by clicking up here, just take a look at the uh, batches and the tries. Okay, so the tries are currently at 204.2 thousand, 100 thousand rather. If we take out the original character, it goes down to 65.9 thousand and we're back 35 batches. Okay, so we take out the original character. Saving significant, significant resources. Okay, if we take out the optimized character, you know, definitely not as much. Still 144,000 and, uh, you know, 55 batches. So, uh, you can, as you can tell, if you're going to have a number of different NPCs in your scene, uh, you know, uh, dozens of NPCs in your scene, it's very important to optimize them uh, th to the maximum amount that you can so you can get results like this. And uh, from this distance, obviously, this is a general game distance. You're not going to be able to tell much of a difference. Okay, you go to your scene distance here, then you know, even from a distance like this, not much of a difference. Okay, uh, unless you're zooming really close on the face, you just, just want to kiss your NPC characters. So that's really about all I wanted to show you guys about how to optimize your character for uh, Character Creator uh, 3 export into Unity 3D. Uh, now you can go ahead and make the uh, most beautiful, strong, buff-looking NPCs that you want in your game. And if you don't want that, you can make uh, more feminine characters as well. It's really all up to you. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial, everyone. So hopefully you learned a lot. And uh, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more uh, information, more tutorials, and more cool stuff. All right, so thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.